How to add products to drop down menu in Shopify. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap right where you see online store. After tapping on online store, you are going to see a drop down menu and you are going to tap right where you see navigation. After tapping on navigation, what I want you to do next, right where you see main menu, you are going to tap right there. After tapping on main menu, you are going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Then you are going to tap on add menu item. After tapping on add menu item, from here you can type in the name of the product that you would like to add to the navigation or the menu option. So for example, I'll just type in a random product. Let's say for example here. Then you are going to tap on link. Then you'll select products and you have two options. You can either choose to add all products or you could scroll down and select the particular product that you would like to add. So let's say for example, I want to add this product then you will tap on add in the bottom right hand corner. After you have added the product, now to create a drop down menu, it's quite easy to do. All you'll have to do, let's say for example, I want to create a new menu option overall. So I'm going to drag here, right up to the top and I'm going to place it right below track your order. So I'll place it right below track your order. And by the way, to drag it down, all you have to do is tap right where you see the six dots that's on the left and right beside the name. And from there, you can drag it to whichever position you want. Once I've done that, I'm going to scroll down again and I'm going to tap on add menu item. After tapping on add menu item, you can add your second product that you would like to add to the drop down menu. Then you're going to tap on link again and you're going to select products. After selecting products, you're going to select the second product that you'd like to add. Then you're going to tap on add in the bottom right hand corner. Once it has been added, you're going to simply tap on the six dots again, and you're going to place it right below the first item that you have added. But this time you're going to slightly place it to the right. So you want to place it right below the first item right here, but you are going to place it slightly to the right so you can see that it is now a drop down menu. Then you'll see the option add menu item and you're going to tap on the plus. From there, you can add your third product. Then tap on link again. Then you could select products. And from here, you can select the product that you would like to add again. Then tap on add. And that is how you would continue adding products and that's how to create a drop down menu. Once it is finished, you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. And after it has been saved, you are going to go over to the left hand and right where you see online store, you are going to tap on view your online store. Now that you have selected view your online store, you'll be able to see the changes. And by the way, if you are inquisitive to know how I created this invisible header or transparent header, you can check out the link in the description on how to make one for yourself. And as you can see right here, I've now created a drop down menu. Let me refresh this page so that you can see it. Just give it a few seconds to refresh so that you can see the changes. And once it has refreshed, you will see the changes in the drop down menu. You will see that the menu options have changed. As you can see right here, you can see here and you can see the drop down menu right here. And by the way, if you are inquisitive to know how I change the color of the text when you hover over the menu option, you can also check out a video on my channel on how to do that. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.